Hello YouTubers! I can't wait off to show my face. So the only face you're gonna get right now is this one. Which is my bus pass. I'm gonna rant. No, I'm gonna go on a rant. About relationships. And how they fuck you up. This was going to be a rant about one particular ex. But fuck that. I'm sick of relationships in general. Well, exes. It seems to me right now that when I'm happy with in my life right now is when I'm getting fucked in the ass, metaphorically speaking, with relationships of the past that come back to haunt me. I know I've had this bad relationship with my ex recently. I thought we turned a corner of being nice. Fuck you, he said to me. Fuck you, basically. And I was like, fine then? I'm trying to be nice and civil and everything. And you go in a rant, basically, and go back on your word? I fucking hate him. Why do pasts always bite you in the ass when you're happy? Because another ex of mine, give me the same that ass, bit me in the ass as well. I was going past a certain place yesterday and I saw him. I was like, shit, what am I going to do if he actually comes over? I probably have to blinkly ignore him. Even though I'm weak at that, I will talk. I can talk for England, I know that. So um, that's my weakest point. One minute while I have a bar, I have a drink. But luckily he didn't come over, so that's a good thing. It was only coke. I'm not in the mood to drink. So yeah, I'm so glad he didn't come over. But about half an hour later, to, yeah, about half an hour later, I see him again. Well, it was only half an hour, it's like 10 minutes later. I see him again. He doesn't come over that time either. He just keeps on walking. I'm like, good. I'm glad. Because I've basically nothing more to do with you. I was tired at the time, so I was falling asleep against the wall at the time. So it wouldn't have helped if he did come over. Because my limitations were very, very low that day. So I, was, um, I could have done anyone at that point because I was so tired. Actually, I wouldn't have been too tired. <laughs> oh, it's because I didn't get any sleep. So yeah, X has bet you on the ass. This one now, this one I thought was out my life for good. I saw him once since this whole relation, this whole relationship blew up. And I, and I honestly thought he hate me. I honestly thought he hated me, which I was happy with. I wanted to be hated by this person. That means he would never see me again. Anyway, shape or form, I was relieved. But then I get home and receive this. Okay, I read it. I pick it up and I automatically think it's Anthony because I seen him yesterday. But I get to this bit and as you can read it says Russell. So I'm like, fuck. To go on a Russell, you have to go on Anthony. I cheated on Anthony with Russell by Russell Finger and me. Yeah, I don't care how blunt this is, but yeah. Then I dumped Anthony. Well, Anthony dumped me because I told him and we broke up. Then after that, very short time after that, I think we started a relationship together, even though, according to Russell, he had a girlfriend. No, he was confused. He didn't know who to go for because one of our f mutual friends liked him as well, so he had no idea what to do. Basically with me, he had his cake and eat it too because we had sex. I took his virginity. So yeah, I'm racking up virginities here. I took his virginity. We had sex in every part of my house over the period of two days months I think it ended the whole thing ended with some texts I get a text out of the blue saying hi I'm Russell's mate did you know that he's actually seeing my sister I'm like no because he's seeing me 
And he say, no, he see my sister. And then I get a tyrant of abuse from his girlfriend, the mate's sister. So I'm like, fine then, fuck both of you then. I was at home at the time alone when I was getting these messages. So I said, hey, fuck you, also, man, I'm getting all these grief because of you. Fuck you then, I didn't even like him in the first place. Well, yeah, he did break my heart, but hey ho, things like that happen. I didn't get that depressed about it. And I moved on. Slowly. It took time. It took time, yeah. So yeah. Like, a month after that happened, I think. I think it was a month. I think it was the beginning of this year, actually. Out of the blue, unannounced, wasn't expecting anything. I get a knock on the door. Actually, I don't. I come home with my shop, I'm my support worker. It's a Tuesday, so yeah, I came home with my support worker and I can see it. I can remember it now. I see him, Russell, with his mate. All right. Okay. Russell's carrying a bag. I don't know what's in that bag, but he's carrying a bag. And I magically say to my support worker, shit. And she's like, what? That's fucking Russell. And she's like, okay. So we park the car and she says, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I fucking not. But I calmed down enough to get my bags out of the car. I must have work I had to leave soon, so um, I had to hurry up. So as I was getting around to the boot to get my stuff out of the car, um, he wouldn't leave. And uh, my support worker told him to leave. I said, can you please leave? He wouldn't leave. He wouldn't leave until I actually told him to piss off. And he left. I thought, forever. Then a week or so later, or two weeks, but a short time later, he turns up again, unannounced. Knocks on my door. I see it's him, slamming in his face. And caught Percy House, because this is the second time. And basically, don't know what to do. He leaves. He does this one last time. Comes to, my, um, comes to my door, I open it, notice it's him. I slam the door in his fucking face, lock it, and Percy House says from the police, so I did. So the police might have a file on him or something, or just, I just might have closed the file now because I didn't complain anymore. But they told me that if he ever did turn up at my door again, to tell him blatantly that I don't want anything more to do with him, face to face, so he gets the message. Because he might not have got the message from him, from his mum telling him, Percy House telling him everything. Um, and I even got um, my other group Splinter involved, which is not good, but I didn't know what else to do. Um, and he didn't turn up. And I've been, I've not been on tender hooks ever since because I, because after a while, I knew he wasn't going to come back because he would. And then today I come home and I spot this. It reads, Hello Emily, I know you don't like me anymore, but it's it's clear. My, I swear my life, all those was, all those Nazi things weren't sent by me, they were sent by my ex-friend. If you... If you still don't want to see me again, and I promise that I will, that I'll never look at you again. I still love you, and I'm sorry I broke your heart. You can rip this up message up if you want to, but let me know if you forgive me. I'm away to cry my eyes out now, with a lot of sad faces. Please don't. I want you back. Please, please. Forgive me, I really miss you, love, love, from Russell. Lots of kisses, lots of hugs, please. Rip me up if you want, and a lot of hearts. So yeah, the only reason I'm keeping this is for evidence of him stalking me again. 
I never thought that would happen. I thought my next daughter would be my ex Adam, but no. It's fucking Russell Howard! Russell Norwood! He's the worst to have as a stalker. Please, pathetic. I think he's stalking me again because I'm trying to buy him on here. I'm sorry, but this is gonna go over 10 minutes. Fuck you, all my exes! Well, not all my exes. Some of my exes are nice. Like, Darwin. He was nice. And I don't know how far you're going to go back on this, but James Wilson was nice. Um, Mark, Mark Griffiths um, is nice, I think, because I, I think he turned a corner when I broke up with him. Because I spoke to him after we broke up, and he was nice. Because he, he thought about what had happened, and he's nice now. So, yeah, Mark's nice. Um, and I don't know who else. Terry, fuck you, because he's a dickwad, because I spoke to him recently and he's just basically being a dick. So yeah, I'm going to call this video, fuck you, ex. And I'm saying this to every fuck -er of my ex. All my fucking exes, I tell you, they're not worth it. Once they're an ex, they should stay an ex. And they should stop talking about you behind your fucking back on YouTube. Yeah, she's see my fucking face. I'm fucking pissed off at you, Adam. I can go on a fucking rant about you. Just you by yourself. Because you're so immature. You're such an idiot. You said so many other things. But you know what? Fuck you. That's what I'm telling you. Fuck you. Stop talking to me about me on here. And you know what? I think I found you on Facebook. So yeah. Hi, and I have your fucking number, so fuck off. Every one of my exes, well, some of them anyway. Especially Adam fucking Wild. I hate him right now. I'm pissed off at the whole situation where I can't get on with my life without being reminded, sometimes daily, that I have had uh, relationships in the past. It pusses me off, completely honest. Um, that's my rent done. I'm gonna calm down now, if I can. Because I the thing that topped me over today about exes and that was whistle. I just why can't I live my life without being reminded of my past? <sighs> Sigh, yeah. Anyway, Facebook is out there, I hope I'm not alone out there. Be not being able to move on because your ex is talked about you behind your back or they contact you out of the blue. Hope I'm not alone. If I'm not alone, tell me. Please, I need help. <laughs> Latest YouTube ones. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone. But some of them I'm not sorry about. Like I'm not sorry for Adam. Well I'm sorry for the world for Adam because he's a dick ward. I'm sorry the well, I'm not sorry that he existed because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have met Jess. The best thing to come out of me and Adam, I tell you, me and Jess. Because if it wasn't for Jess, I wouldn't have met Wifey too. I wouldn't have... Basically, I wouldn't be where I am today because I would have killed myself if it wasn't for Wifey. Wifey. Jess. She means the world to me and I, I love her to bits. And f this is just for Adam. Don't you fucking say anything more about Jess behind my fucking back. Oh, as you have me to pay for it, because I know what you do most Saturdays, and I know where you live. You don't know where I live, but I know where you live. I know you go to Saturday Academy at Bordega House. I know your number. So yeah, I know quite a lot about you. This is just for Adam, by the way. It's not for anyone else. So yeah, don't talk shit about my ex, about my best friend, my wifey. Oh, you have made the answer for. Because I don't solve problems with my fists. I solve problems with my mouth. And you know that. So, yeah. This is just for Adam. So, that's the world. I am waving. And they get to see my face for a bit. So, yeah. <laughs> and they ask up a second's latest Facebook ads. For the, my truly ones that actually like me. Thank you for sticking by me through all this.